Hey everybody, welcome to Ron's Computer Videos. Um, anyway, there's something that's been bugging me. And it, there's all these solutions um, available for sale for the uh, for the GS and the 2E and things like that. So that way that you can load disk images and, you know, there's so much on the market. It does so many different things. But, but what is the fastest? Like, what if I was a GS owner and my uh, the idea was is that I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to be able to boot um, to... Uh, like system 604 and run some GS uh, exclusive kind of games and just kind of have fun in that space. So I figure there has to be other people that are kind of in the same boat um, that may might benefit from kind of seeing what's available and maybe from there picking whatever their best option would be. Okay. So there's been a couple of things that have kind of come out like in the last like six or eight months that um, have been game changers on, on this front and everybody's got their Vulcan drives and everybody's got their like um, sandwich, like ultra high speed, SCSI cards, ultra high speed <laughs> um, and all that type of stuff. But I, I'm just going to talk about these new, newish kind of solutions. Um, so maybe people can make a good buying decision. So we're going to talk about uh, three today and the three we're going to talk about is uh, we're going to talk about the, the W drive. Um, and the W drive, everybody's kind of seen this. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like a little, you know, three and a half inch drive. Use an SD card. And um, on-screen display supports like, uh, you know, uh, long file names, things like that. Uh, this is a pretty cool little device. But, oh, Ron, this is magic. How do you have this plugged into your GS? Well, you can go out on um, uh, A2 Heaven and you can buy one of, it's, is it DB19 to IDF or IDC20, something like that. Um, but they have this adapter. This is this is made for like a 2C, so you can plug like uh, like a disc two or something into it. But um, this also works for the booty. Um, so yeah, you can you can a little bit of advertising. Uh, you can head over there and pick one of those up. They're pretty handy, and I don't think they're very expensive. So so there there's the there's um, the uh, W drive. Okay, so there's that. Now there there's a new thing that's just kind of been uh, just recently kind of started making waves. And uh, that's called the booty. And I'm gonna murder poor David's last name, but uh, David uh, Mudimer, Mudimer. In any case, uh, real nice guy. Um, I bought one of these, um, kind of not really the beta, because I, I think there's some other folks that got these earlier. But um, I've been really enjoying it. This is kind of a game changer. Where the the W drive is a floppy emulator. This um, will let you load like ProDOS, order, ProDOS ordered uh, disk images, allow you to order or uh, load like um, uh, hard disk images and things like that. And, I mean, this is not supposed to be a floppy emulator and that's what they'll tell you, but um, it, it, it does a lot of fun things. And one of those fun things it does is it can load all of those cool um, 32 megabyte ProDOS images that are out there on what is Apple II. So you can kind of explore that whole world. Um, you can mount up to eight of those images at a time, um, which uh, is handy because you can kind of like, oh man, I boot the machine. It's like a ton of stuff that's all loaded. It just loads from this one little $50 card. Um, for the purposes of testing, I just wanted to uh, let you know that I'm using a Ventura Plus. This is made by Mushkin. This, is, this drive is nothing to sneeze at. This is uh, probably capable of completely saturating the USB 2.0 bus. So that way in the testing, this won't be a situation of like, oh man, this is use some old crappy USB drive from the 1940s and that's why it was so slow or, or that's why it was so fast or something. But I'm just trying to make everything uh, kind of fair. And then the last thing that I've got here, this is the Reactive Micro, uh, Micro Drive Turbo. And this is the later version that uh, can do bus powered drives. And the, um, the card I have in here is a SanDisk Ultra 2. This is like rated at 15 megabytes per second. It's an eight gig card, um, but I've just got like a, a 32 meg ProDOS image on here. Uh, for, for the sake of making everything even, uh, I've got the same image from uh, what is 2GS loaded on all four, or I'm sorry, all three devices. And it's the um, OS 6.04, uh, the one with like the shareware games and stuff like that in it, but it's all identical across the machine. So everything should be even. Okay. Now that I've spent 
five minutes setting this all up. Let's do some testing. So I've got a display here. I've got a timer here that I'm gonna do my very best to kind of uh, position to where you can see the timer. But probably for kind of the testing on this, uh, when, the, when the LED goes out on the device, uh, it's probably a good time to let us know that it's done loading. Now on smart disk I, or on smart port, I know that it continues kind of doing some housekeeping in the background. So probably in that instance, um, the second in, in uh, the OS when the um, pointer turns from a clock to like a, a cursor again, it probably, so that way everything's loaded and we're ready to like run programs. Okay, so that all said, Let's go ahead and we're gonna start with uh, the W drive. Um, and I'll start the timer when I actually see the OS load screen. Oh, well that's no good. So let's see, probably have to go into uh, control panel and make sure that I've got the, um, the right slots and everything set up. Okay, yep, so let's go ahead and we're gonna set this for all auto everything looking good okay so all right so i'm gonna reboot oops i'm gonna probably hold down the apple key a little longer this time okay there's that it's our timer all right so we are loading an os now so i'll try to get everything framed in here where you can kind of see the os load and the oh yeah maybe that's a little bit better um you see the W drive just working its little heart out. And uh, you can see that the, uh, you can see the image I've got loaded on there. I really like the long file name support. That is like a, um, a feature missing from other products. That would be handy if they did those things, but what are you gonna do? Probably wait for firmware updates. It's probably what I'll do. Okay. Home stretch here. 46 seconds, 47 seconds. Not doing terrible, but man, it could be faster. Lots of things could be faster. Still loading. And uh, as part of this testing, we're going to load all the. Um, NDAs and CDFs and whatever, whatever else those are called. Okay. So that way it's even testing. Okay. Oh, we'll call that time. So I just saw the cursor change. Okay. So one minute, 25 seconds on yield W drive. So let's, yeah, this is tough. I don't know how YouTubers do this. Like people that do this professionally. I guess when you make YouTube money, you can buy an extra arm. They fought it up. Okay, so we got our W drive here. And one minute and 25 seconds. So one minute, 25 seconds. Okay, so first one on the board. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, there's something weird about this image and the W drive because if I go and I, I, because you can see it's got the smart port icon there. Um, if I go in and I shut this down, um, it will, it'll like crash out the W drive. Yeah, see, and it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. But if you hit reset, the OS will go ahead and shut down. So that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna power that off. And to make sure that our methodology sort of stays uncontaminated, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disconnect this other solution before we move to the next one. Okay, so let's reset our timer. Looking good. Okay, so let's do the booty next. Really like this one. This card's great. All right, I'm gonna put it in slot two just for fun. Cause I, okay, perfect. Didn't split the, so the slot, that's always good. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna boot, we're gonna turn us back on. I'm gonna go into control panel again. This is like the most time consuming part. Uh, your card, slot two, quit, quit. Okay, so now we should be all set. Now, um, if you've never seen the, see there's a little countdown timer up there. I can go into the configuration, but just to show you, 
Um, there's that 604 image. I just renamed it. This thing, it doesn't support long file names. I hope that they get that all squared away. Um, but anyway, there's a 604 image there that's loaded into slot one on the card. So that's where we're going to boot from. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I can hit exit and then it's immediately going to go ahead and give us that uh, countdown timer again. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, get the timer uh, situated. And in this unit here, there is a um, an LED that'll flash to kind of indicate um, that it's still loading. So when the LED stops, that is when we're going to go ahead and stop our timer. So, okay, so here we go. Okay. So it's going to boot slot one. Boop. Uh, I was probably like a second late, but that's okay. Okay, we can see the, the LED on the... Um, USB and we see the LED on the card itself. Got the timer in there, got the other stuff in there. When those LEDs turn off, we'll know. Oh, we're so close. And time. Okay, so the uh, booty, the booty, um, came up in about 52 seconds. Um, I'd say 53 because I think I was a little slow on, or maybe 51 or something, just because I was a little slow on the trigger. Um, because, you know, doing this all one handed, but. All right, so let's go ahead and let's record our time. Booty with my nice uh, non retro ready keyboard. Javier probably loves that. So 50, we'll just call it 52 seconds just because, you know. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll shut down. This maybe isn't that important for this test, but you know, good practices are good practices. Okay, so we're gonna shut that off. And reset our timer, looking good. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the booty. Okay, put it back over here on the card. And uh, we're gonna get our micro drive in there. Put that in slot seven, just because I've had the best success with this card in slot seven. Make sure everything is all needed up, looking good. It's a real testament to Apple making this uh, making this stuff so robust. I mean, they knew that schools were gonna just turn kids loose and say, you know, install all these Apple Talk cards. Okay, so we've got that in there. We've got our timer ready. Uh, we will have to go into control panel real fast and uh, readjust our settings. So let's do that. Slots, we'll just reset this all to default. We'll just have it scan, even though I could, I'll just, I'll expressly say slot seven, just so that way there's no delay or chances that we're going to have a false start here. Okay, so I'm going to restart it and I'm going to grab the timer. And when the, as you see, we have a series of LEDs down here. When the LEDs go off, that'll be an indication that it's ready to go. So here we go. Oh, man, I got to really hold that out. I'll keep it out a little longer. Oh, man. It's quick. It's quick. Uh, yeah, and just for uh, covering all the bases here, um, this image is um, it's just ProDOS, 32 meg uh, partition, and um, DMA, is this since this version of the card supports DMA, it has DMA turned on specifically for a ROM1 2GS. Okay, so we are still loading, 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 and kind of at that point, the, the cursor had kind of changed, and we did um, the LED extinguished over here. So 27 seconds. That's, uh, that's pretty great. Um, I mean, not terrible. Actually, I'd be really interested in doing that one again, just to make sure that I did not kind of, uh, mess up. Or I didn't, uh, interfere with the results just because of me being slow. So, okay. Now if I hit restart, it should just go ahead and restart. So Let's do this again. We reset our timer. Restart. Boop. Okay. Mm 
picture. I can maybe kind of see the LEDs in the shot this time for sure. Don't have my hand in the way. But you can definitely see when the um, the timer, uh, or the, I mean, at least I can kind of see when the clock, see it goes to a timer. Okay, so that time like 27 seconds. Um, so we'll split the difference. We'll just say 26 seconds. I'm sure that somebody's going to be like, you should have tested it three times. But it's like, Lord... Who has that kind of patience to watch a video like this? So, okay, so here's what we got. We've got probably, you know, in first place, we're gonna have the microdrive turbo. Uh, second place, we're gonna have the booty. And then third place, we're gonna have the W drive. Now, remember, microdrive turbo is just kind of like a hard drive emulator. So you can put like hard disk images on there, but you don't, you can't like load up a bunch of proto swappies. Um, you need like that other solution that's got the name that I can't remember, CFFA or something like that. But I mean, those aren't manufactured anymore, so that's a little difficult to get. Uh, Booty is 50 bucks and you can just get it. Um, you can just order them. Um, and it's, it's pretty darn handy, I would say, for the price. And then you have the W drive, which um, I, I like the long file name support. I like the fact that you can uh, put the uh, Protoss order, order disk images and stuff on there and all of that and um i guess the new version of the firmware um will also have like an on-screen display or he's or there or somebody has written a program or something that will uh do like an on-screen display version of what you see on the lcd on the booty or i'm sorry on the w drive but um anyway that's all coming soon so all right guys uh have a wonderful evening uh thank you again and uh apple II forever